Here's another question I received. They wanted to know what they would need to do if they moved a wall, a bearing wall for a ceiling where they had joists lapping it. What, what would need to be done if they moved the wall and it was no longer underneath the ceiling joist? Something like this, where they moved the wall over about uh, two feet or a foot. I would imagine that if you moved it too far, something uh, my idea that I'm going to present in this video might not work. Um, remember, you are increasing the distance of the span here. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, let me zoom in a little farther here. Let's just say that you're using two by six and they are spanned 14 feet and that is the maximum that they are spanning that they should be spanning and you move the wall another two feet. Now you have spanned them, um, you, they're way over spanned. These ones here would be under underspanned or undersized I should say. If you have a two by six and a two by six can span 12 feet let's say and you move this over um, and, and uh, do what I'm going to suggest. You still might have a problem with the materials being overspanned. So keep that in mind. Um, in other words, you would have a 2x6 that now would need to be a 2x8. So now you could always, if you move a wall, what I would recommend doing would be to simply remove these joists and then get the proper size joists and run them the proper distance. But the question that I received, um, they wanted to know if they could just uh, do something else, if, there, if there's something else that could be done. And uh, I think something like this might work. So here's what I'm proposing. You could simply drill a hole through the joist and put a bolt Make sure that you use a bolt and a washer. The size of the bolts I will leave up to you. Remember, I am not a structural engineer. This is just something that I think might work. So keep that in mind. Um, but remember, this isn't a standard construction practice, at least uh, none that I know of. And of course, you could always put another bolt in there to uh, give you a little more strength. And you could always stagger the bolts too. You could always put a couple down here and then one at the top or one here, one here, and then one here and one here, something like that. Again, remember this is just kind of throwing something out there. If you want to try it, you'll be trying it at your own risk. Remember, this is not structural engineering advice and I would never pretend to be a structural engineer. I'm not going to provide you with any information that I am not clear on. So keep remember, this is just an example of something that might work um, and remember it might not. I'm just kind of throwing it out there.